Hey guys, if you want to install a simple furnace and you just need a little bit of direction, this video just might be the thing you need. Just remember, only licensed HVAC guys can install unless you are the homeowner and you are installing in a house that you own. So this here is a Goodman 80% single stage 60,000 BTU natural gas furnace. And I'll be replacing an old 40,000 BTU furnace. There's no central AC, so I'll show you how to program it for no AC. First thing is to turn off the gas. So all you got to do is take your gas valve and make sure that it's perpendicular. Spin it so that it's perpendicular to the gas line. And cut off your electricity. This here has a switch, of course. Um, but uh, it's obviously best practice to cut off the electricity at the breaker as well. So that really the two main things that you need to worry about is your gas and your electricity. Here are the three wires coming into the furnace, black, white, and your ground, the green. And here are the two wires. There's only two wires in this particular setup that run from the thermostat to the board right here. Now we're disconnecting the hot, the neutral, and the ground, and we'll pop it out. The thermostat wire is kind of connected on there. And this particular setup has a union, so we'll use a pipe wrench and disconnect here. Perfect. Now onto the flue, the exhaust vent, where all the combustion gases go up. And it's just a matter of going around, taking out all the screws. And now onto the return air duct and return air plenum. A lot of screws, a lot of tape, so this is going to take a little bit. Old S cleats are always a little bit tough to get out. Here's a close-up of the return air plenum. Looks like it's been fastened with rivets, so that's going to take a little extra time here. And now onto the supply air duct. Just four panels all the way around, and we're in business. Take the old furnace out, get it out of the basement, sweep up a bit. I'm going to use the old return air plenum, so it's just a matter of cleaning it up a bit. And now it's time to cut out the opening for your return. Double check your measurements. Make sure that you can cut on the side that you're cutting. A lot of guys have these battery powered tin snips. I'm just going to use a angle grinder, die grinder, cut it out. Take your return air duct and your return air plenum. Set it on there and make sure everything fits. If not, you can make adjustments, add sheet metal, whatever you need, and go ahead and fasten everything together. Set it right side up, bend up the metal to make that flange up on top, get it into place, and get your S cleats back on to lock everything in place. And now it's time to reconnect the electrical and the gas and to figure out, okay, are we going to use solid pipe? Are we going to use flex pipe? If you do decide to go with flex pipe, make sure to grab specifically furnace flex pipe because there's also that dryer flex pipe as well. Make sure to run your thermostat through all the little holes and grommets so it looks all nice. Once your gas and electric are reconnected, turn it on and verify everything's working properly. When I turned it on and called for heat, I found IDL, which means idle, that's good. But then it's also reading EAF, which is a configuration board failure. And also another code F09, which is a flame detection failure. I looked around over by the blower and found the CLGN connector logic motor harness completely disconnected. 
My guess is when they threw in the instruction manual and exhaust pipe adapter, you know, in a bag and dropped it all in a into the furnace before being shipped out, my guess is the stuff as they dropped it in, it knocked out the, the wire harness loose and disconnected it. So that was the first issue. The second thing is that the R32 sensor is looking for an air con air conditioner. Well, there is no AC in this configuration, so we have to tell the furnace to bypass this sensor. So here I'm going to my control board, and you see there's three buttons. The left button allows you to scroll back. The right button allows you to scroll forward. And when you push any two buttons at the same time, this brings you back to IDL, idle. To enter A2L function, press the left or right button until you see A2E. Then you press the middle button to select. You'll see yes, which is the default. Click the right button to select no. Then you click the middle button. Then push any two buttons to return to IDL. And when you call for heat again, you should be good to go. Sometimes there's some codes in there that won't go away unless you turn the furnace off, turn it back in, um, in order to, to in order to clear. And now it's moment of truth. Turn it back on. Flame sensor should be working. And now the igniter. In just a few seconds, you should see it start to glow. Blower will turn on. And let's go upstairs, check to see if everything is running. Nice hot air, everything's perfect. Awesome. All right, and that's all. Thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you learned something. 